complete you. Complete me. I want just had shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. Oh, baby. Starting out with Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade Cream Whip. This foundation comes with the coolest little applicator and I'm just using it to spread it around my face. And once I've got it placed around, I'm using my damp Real Techniques sponge to buff it out. I really like this foundation, it's actually one of the only ones I've repurchased. It's a good medium to full coverage and it lasts all day on my skin. And don't forget. So just a girl. For concealer, I'm scraping through the very last bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. Don't worry, I have a backup baby. I'm using this everywhere I want to highlight, and then I'm using that same sponge to blend it out. Okay, this little thing is the Sephora Cushion Bronzer. I love and hate this little thing. I love the color and how blendable it is, but this little cushion seems dry and there's just not a lot of product in there. So if you guys know of any good cushion bronzers, let me know below. my under eyes I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder I love 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 using a dampish sponge to set with my powders it looks totally airbrushed and it takes away any dryness then I'm being real bougie and I'm setting the rest of my face with the RCMA no color powder I'm sorry but the Laura Mercier is just too damn expensive to bake with when I see people baking with it I'm like you're rich <laughs> this IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation to brush the bake off and then set anything that's not set. To bronze, I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer on an MB39. This is actually a buffing brush typically used for foundation, but it works really well to buff bronzer as well. It gives a very natural airbrushed look even with this orangey bronzer. For blush, I'm using I Will Always Love You from Too Faced, and as always, I'm using that on my Morphe E3. To set everything, I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter, and I will be back in a second with a talk through. Alright, so the first half of this video was a talk over, a voice over. Um, and then this half is going to be a talk through and I did that because the longest part of my makeup is when I'm doing my face But you guys really like talk throughs. You're kind of 50 50 so I'm gonna <laughs> Try to 50 50 and see how you guys feel about that zooming you into this eye because that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna start off by priming with my NYX concealer as if you didn't see my last video the reason I'm gonna be priming with this for like the rest of my life is because it was a really good sale and it was really hard to resist until I got a lot of them. <laughs> is this the best primer? Nah. Does it suck? Nah. Underneath of my brow, to clean it up under there. Because as you guys have called me out many a times, got some fur brows going on. 
and they're gonna stay like that until they grow the way I want them to. And then I'm gonna take my sponge over so it picks up any of that excess. Just because it's sitting right here, I'm gonna take my RC, my no color powder, and go over that. All right, using my baby, the colored rain Queen of Hearts palette. You guys have asked for more videos using this palette, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I really like, and I'm hoping you guys really like, the one eyeshadow colors because I think, you know, there's a decent amount of beginners on here from from what I can tell from the comments. And you don't always have to have seven different eyeshadow palettes on your eye. So I'm going to use Empress, but I'm actually going to touch into Air as well, just so that this is, I'm like faking the transition color right now. And I'm just going to go with this, this is my E13 from Morphe, and I'm just going in the crease and above this is pretty much this is where i'm going to be stopping eyeshadow, as you can see from the other eye empress is so pretty in the crease i'm just going to be working this out everywhere same with the lower lash line just smoking it out And then I'm going to switch to my E17. This is a crease blending brush. And I'm just, just have Empress on it. I'm just using it to go over the lid. I'm not using a packing brush because I don't want it to be like crazy orange. I just want a little smoky orange action all over and around my eyes, if that makes any sense at all. Once I am happy with how smoky that is, I'm going back to the E43 and I just have a little bit of air on there and then what was left of that orange and I'm just going around the edges. If you have creasy under eyes like me, I think that this just helps take the focus away from that because I literally have my eyeshadow blended down to the crease. These are the I Need You lashes from Violet Voss. I'm pretty much in love with them. Violet Voss makes the best eye eyelashes. They really understand the style that I like to go for. Whoa, I just went really orange. As usual, I'm going to put the glue on and let it dry while I'm doing the rest of my eye stiffs. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I don't even know if I can call those lashes. They're so evil. And then I'm going to use the Great Lash Mascara on my little baby lashes like usual. I don't use anything fancy for my upper lash mascara because I'm literally just going to pop falsies right on it. And the Great Lash Mascara, you know, it does its thing for its price especially. For the bottom lashes, I always double up. I always double up. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara first. And then second, I'm using this TARDIS Lash Paint Sample. I really am liking this. Good time to do this. I'm gonna go a little bit more detail into this. So once my lash glue starts to turn clear, that's when it's time to stick them on. I judge my eye. I used to do it by the middle. Now I do it by the end. So I take where the end is. That's where I put my fingers. And then I'm taking the other side with the tweezers. And I'm placing them, sticking them with the end. So end to end, if that makes sense. And then with the front, taking the tweezers and sticking them down. And then I hold it there. Hold that there for a couple of seconds to make sure. And then I pinch the band with my natural lashes. So the goal is that the band is all glued down. Obviously that end is not with the goal. <laughs> and then I'm going to take this fine line and I am just going to meet that inner corner to the lash band. 
All right, so there is the finished eye look. Big ol' eyebrows and all. Um, these lashes are life. I'm gonna zoom out and do my lips. Hey. <laughs> so I had quite the inner battle with the lips and I'll probably switch it up. <laughs> um, I'm gonna line my lips with Vixen from Kylie Cosmetics. I hate lining my lips, but the one that I decided on definitely needs a lip liner. Alright, so for lips, I decided to go with Blitzen, which I don't know if you if you watched my lip swatch video on the entire holiday kit. This one is like literally one of the prettiest colors in there, but the formula was funky on it. So I'm hoping that this will just be like a one and done so that I don't have to go over it again. So that's why I lip one and that's a really long story on why I picked this color. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go. Alright, so it definitely got a little weird over here in the corner, but I think that's my fault. Same with this corner. Both of the corners look a little funky. Um, definitely my fault. I do think it performed a lot better than it did in my lip swatching video since I lined my lips. I did line my lips with a darker color, so it definitely appears a little bit darker, but I got what I wanted, which was this purpley tone. Um, I think it looks really awesome with the orange. Anyways, that's it, guys. I really hope that you like this one eyeshadow tutorial and I hope you like the 50-50 split with the talking and the voiceover. Um, as usual, let me know what you guys think. Um, I did just make a Snapchat for my makeup things because I have a personal Snapchat and I never really use it that much um, just because I didn't want to flood my friends with my makeup. But if you guys want to be flooded, go ahead and add me on it. I haven't started using it yet because I don't have any friends in there. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching per usual.